Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Manga a Monday. I'm here with my man, Luke Hollywood. What up, Luke? What up, Jim? What up? We're here with bangers, as we Banger. say. Bangers. bangers. Oh, my goodness. It is a banger. Uh, maybe. You told me maybe. it is. Maybe. I don't know if this is a banger or not. I, I'm i not hearing anybody at the mold shop talk about Blue Lock, but type? you ended up saying, isn't there an anime coming out? Is that the Incoming thing? Incoming or... banger. I, oh I detect a banger on the horizon. You it's, you detected. The last one coming. you detected, it, it failed. So with that, <laughs> here we are. This is a Luke Hollywood deal. You ended up yep. requesting this. Boom. I said, whatever. I'm in. Blue Lock, we've done so many, and, and it was funny, at one point, I think the theme for a month and a half was blue, blue something. We didn't do this one. You actually asked me, we do Blue Lock, and I'm like, I don't know. We did a bunch of blue stuff, but we went and checked. We did not. So here we are, a little footy, soccer, oh, football, whatever you want to call it. The beautiful it. game. It is the beautiful game. I, I have some issues with some of the things that this one has. Oh. I, I think they're completely off their rocker at one point. But we'll talk about that. And and with that, I'll even bring up, I'll be bringing up, uh, you know, a native son to Ireland. Something oh. that you might actually know of, but it is old people's footy. Oh. But we'll, we'll talk about that when we get to it. But what is this, Luke? And give me some info. This is the Blue Locks, my pick, part of the Blue Saga, you know, because we've done pretty much all the other blues. We did the Blue Periods. We did the Blue Flags. I can't think of any other blues. The though. blue something. Yeah, blues blue, clues. Blues clues. We did, we blues did that. boxes. We you, do that every week. Jeez. At one point, you usually sing the blues when, say, a red hood gets canceled. So we we got it all right. Uh, sometimes you're a little blue because you're you know live in Ireland. <laughs> there we go. We we got it all. <laughs> so. What is the info for this? Which I'm not guessing there's going to be a ton of. Not a lot. Right off the bat. What there is impressive for such a, a relatively new series. Let me let me tell you a story. We have this, the story words written Good by... Night, mate. Yes, <laughs> yes, Rosie. <laughs> written by Moody Yuki Kuneshiro. Oh my goodness. And art by Yusuke Nomura. So that's interesting. It's one of those ones with the different t- like the comic books you got the writers and you get the it's artists. A creative team Ooh. not a solo deal you would you would think that like a team where they pass off to each other oh, maybe and, yeah. and either of them don't have a huge ego Do right? you think they're doing a lot of dribbling all they, over they the might fields be. They, no all over their shirts they they end up having problems that's a problem. I, I think yes oh, that is <laughs> So it was first published in Weekly Shonen Magazine from August 2018 for a total of 17 volumes, 11 out in the West. And so far, it's been released digitally by the Kodanches. And you know how it is with the Kodanches. You can read the chapter one on the websites uh, that Jim doesn't like because it looks funny. Oh, yeah, geez. I don't like the. I, I still don't like the site. But that that's me. It right. is what it is. Uh, uh, but here's the exciting news. And this is relatively hot off the presses. This was just announced a few weeks back. Print releases coming in the summer 2022. So we probably can look forward to the anime, right? The anime on the way probably going to help a little bit. Uh, that's the, what I can imagine. Uh, and of course, the anime adaptation is by Studio 8 Bit. Don't know why I wrote that down because I don't know what they did, but. You know, Studio good, 8 bit. Good to know. And scheduled to release later this year. They actually just last week released, or even this week, I think, because I think that's what spurred it on. They released a little preview anime clip. Did, did I send you that? I no, I did not. Oh, well, I wouldn't it, have watched it anyway. It looked like a banger <laughs> to me, Jim. And, and not to toot my own horn either, but I, I, I always like I, the idea of sports with the anime, especially. I, I think it works out well. They get I mean, the emotions. You end up, yeah, well, you end up having it, you know, build in tension and emotions and things like that, especially, you know, with the footy, because a lot of people have played soccer football foot you know have even if it was at a basic level so they're going to understand it this isn't quite like you and the baseballs i actually know what's happening yeah 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 i'm not going to say that you're you know a howard cosell here right no (laughs) way no you wouldn't but uh this is a sport that most people know enough about and uh which that kind of i like i actually like the idea that it is something that is worldwide. Yes. Uh, any other info? Uh, well, one last thing before we kick off, Jim. Oh, oh my, my. 
uh, award-winning manga this is and impressive that it's only like only started 2018 and is already winning the manga oscars oh jeez oh, the, the manga four- oscars huh? now 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 here we go no i think this is a little bit like this is a little uh i don't know i don't know faking the funk perhaps because it, it won the 45th kodansha manga award but it's published in kodan it's published by kodansha so like isn't that is that breaking the rules? For the most part, of the award shows are <laughs> ridiculous anyway, but that's even more ridiculous. I heard that, you know, this is hot off the presses as well. I heard that me and you actually won the Weird Science Manga and Anime Podcast Award of Best Podcast. You love I, I don't know that you knew that or Less not, old. but we did. Oh, my God. Fully goodness. deserves. Yeah, so, Who's yeah. Yeah, Eric? really. Whoa. <laughs> Who is that? And why aren't we getting more likes and, and reviews? <laughs> oh, but is that it, then? That Are we hitting in? That you're on. done. You're done your pitch. Yes. Oh my. <laughs> so here we go into this. And as an American here, I do have to say that I was a big footy fan, not as much anymore, but was a big Premier League fan back in the day. And I'm talking in when I start talking about certain players like Rude Van Nistelrooy or even you know Thierry Henry. Yes. That's about my time. There, there's a window okay. uh, of opportunity there, which made me laugh when you go into this, but. When you start off, you end up going with the whole deal of, you know, first class strikers, the creature known as that. And it basically goes with this idea overall is Japan, they can't win the World Cup. And the only way that they can do this, they have to flip the script, you know, Luke, they have to get something that goes completely against even the Japanese society, it seems, of everybody helping out everybody, everybody they else. Everybody, are too nice. That's the problem. They are nice. This is like, you know, some things with Canada. You end up where, <laughs> and, and nobody wants to have the full spotlight. It's supposed to be. Now, this is the weird thing, because last night, just out of the blue, we were going we to do this. I already knew. This wasn't yes. a shock. But I ended up watching a documentary on the Russian, the Soviet hockey team, very similar, very similar to the idea where, you know, you weren't supposed to shine. Everybody passed and they were awesome back in the day, but they also were, you know, a juggernaut without that. But this is the idea where the Japanese players and the team seem to just always pass, uh, you know, and, and nobody's good at shooting. There's no real dominant Japanese striker. And I think that what happens throughout all of this is you do get some players mentioned. You get some international soccer players, even stuff from history and things like that. And what they're showing you is there ain't no Japanese guys in this class of of players. And that's what they want to change. But that's the big picture deal. And I like that you have a big picture deal like that because you, you do start off with that deal of Japan has never won the World Cup. But you then go small to be introduced to who should be our main character. But like I said, you start off with Chapter 1 Dream, and you have this big Japanese football union meeting, and there's all the... And I again, I think that it's really pushed here. There's a lot of old guys, old and there's a, you know, a young girl, Henri Thierry, oh. who it seems like Thierry Henri, a little switcheroo there, but... She says that they have to change things up, that we're good enough to win the World Cup. We can do this. We just need to change some things, tweak some stuff, maybe get a new manager. And you do see the pushback from the uh, Jap- Japan Football Union chairman, this Hirotoshi Baratsutu. Oh. Suta, uh, and I'm, I'm sure that this is not a real guy because he comes off as a real jerk. Who basically just says, what, what do we care? Japan's Money's never going to win. Yeah, Japan's never going to win. So why don't we just, you know, let it smooth ride? We're making money on this. People are buying jerseys. We're doing good enough. Why do you want to push this? Why do you want to end up, you know, de- destroying what we got? And this girl says, well, because we're in danger. We're not getting any better. The world is so much better than us. We have to do this. We can win the World Cup. They pretty much laugh. At her, and that happens later as well. But also, you get some sus stuff going on. Where legitimately, I mean, legitimately, (sighs) these guys have invited this girl in, and she comes in and says, "Hey, I think we can win the World Cup." They go, "What did you just say? You can win the World Cup?" As they're thinking, man, she's got big boobs. That's all they're doing. Yeah, that's all they're doing. So you see, they do not. Take her. They don't care about the game. You know, they, yeah, they don't. They don't care about her. The game. It's all about 
We could just make money and sit here and look at you with your big boots. So with that, though, you get a lot of people in this, which this reminds me a lot of like haiku. Also, I'll tell you, this reminds me of what the nine dragons should have been right away, where you already get a bunch of characters in this, even if you don't have names. At the very beginning, we have a spread page where there's a bunch of goofballs. They all look like goofballs, but they're like the the characters we're going to meet later, not even in this chapter. So I like it. I think that's you get the dream. personalities of them straight yeah. away. You know? And that's her dream. At it. You know, to, to win the World Cup. Her dream is for Japan to win the World Cup. And the only way she says to do this is to get this new manager. And it doesn't seem like this coach is known by anybody. But he has a plan. And again, this almost feels to me, if you're a baseball fan, you oh. know, and this is U.S. and all these stuff. And you're not, but... The idea, do you hear the, the movie Moneyball? Remember that movie? Well, that's about kind of doing this. Brad with, Pitt? Yeah, with Brad Pitt and, and Jonah, whatever his name is, Jonah Hill. But you yes. end up with that. It was a new way of looking at baseball that was using a different approach and using a statistical approach instead of, you know, how the game was played normally. It really did it different. And that's what I think that this is going with. It's just weird that this coach's name is Ego. Because that's what he wants everybody to have. He wants to change the deal. And I don't know. He looks sus right away. He's got a draft neck. I don't like this guy's look. He's got the football on the tie, though. So Yeah, he does. Well, that means that he's committed. But it's like a bolo tie. I mean, what is he, in the Old West? So you end (laughs) up where we need players who can lead the country to the World Cup victory. Now, this uh, Jim Pachi ego, this coach, he, he does have a weird way of doing things where he does not give one lick about anybody on the team except the striker. That's all you need. You get a striker, you win. Striker, you win. And he does have, you know, this argument later that made me kind of giggle with some of the things because it is true. A lot of the strikers in the past, they're a bunch of, you know, big headed jerks. So oh, we're going to find that out. But they got the eagle. Yeah. We end up going to. This national high school soccer championship, and it's kind of a it's it's a a prefectural uh, final. So if you win this, you get to nationals. Holy moly! I, they're in the stadium. I know uh, it's this not is a pretty filled, big but still, deal. I mean, yeah, there's still Later a lot on, of people there. They get the camera there. crews going. Oh on. yeah, Jeez. they have all that stuff. It's like I don't know. And maybe you're supposed to see that these guys kind of already. You know, not our main guy, Asagi, who we're going to meet. He seems like he thinks that he's a nobody, whatnot. But some of these other guys, they seem to be big news already. Is soccer a big deal in Japan? Yeah, I, it is, actually. When, when they have the World Cup and stuff, it, it does get pretty big. And I remember, I don't see, again, I haven't watched uh, soccer in a while and even World Cup. But either last or a couple ones before, it was really big. I mean, it started really getting to be bigger and bigger, but I don't know right now. But with that, you end up having the Sasagi, who he's pretty good. He's a second year. He's a striker. And he's going. But the problem is, is that he likes to pass. And because that's the Japanese way, they keep stressing this. And even the thing that that coach ego wants to go against is the idea that the Japanese are great at passing, great at getting everybody involved, and they've been stressed all the way up through all the soccer. You can tell that the team, 11, 11 guys, everybody's equal. We're all a team, one for all and all for one, that sort of thing. And I think it does a good job of showing that, especially because, I mean, I Asagi, he makes the worst mistake ever. <laughs> he ends up there, and it's pretty much a two-on-one. He ends up being able to either, you know, shoot and score and win the game or tie it at least for, for his team. But he passes over to this other guy, and he's making some good moves. I, I thought that it was kind of funny because you do get an idea that he is a little more pompous than we think, right? When he calls the one guy dumbass, that that threw me off. But he ends up getting <laughs> by the defender, and he has a break. But at the last second, and he's he passes, and he says, I can hit this. We can tie. It's a weird thing to tie. You know what I mean? Mm. Because then he's like, if I do this, we go to the... No, 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 you tie. And I guess maybe I would think there's an overtime with this sort of thing. You go to nationals, but maybe if if you have maybe a draw, both go. Points. Yeah, maybe it's the point. Maybe they, they don't really go into it that well. Mm. But with that going on, I think that you get something, a layer here. Here's, oh, here's the layers. layer. First up, first up, the one layer is he's thinking too much, you know, and he's not 
reacting. Somebody's going to steal the ball. Of and him. he's Jeez. only a second year. But I think that what they're also showing is and, and what you end up having said about him later is that he does see the game well. And I think that they're playing out that this the game's kind of, you know, slow motion for him because he is pretty good. And that's what they say. When you get like a Wayne Gretzky in hockey, they say, you know, he ends up seeing the game and it's like it's in slow mo because he knows everything and whatnot. Because, yeah, he's thinking of himself sweating like a pig. And then ends up where Tada, you know, Tada, he shows up. He's one of the other wingers, and he passes to him, and he clunks it off of the off of the post, and ends up missing it, and they lose. And he says, "If I pass, we'll get the point," because he thinks. And if you look at it, it should be a gimme. I mean, that goalie is right in line with Asagi, and if he goes, you know, fake a shot, pass over, this guy's going to dive one way or the other, and it's going to be easy. Clear path. But, you know, you end up Tada, he's going to, what do you think Tada goes from here? Give, give me, when he ends up blowing it for everybody. I mean, he's probably going to jump off a bridge. I I mean, yeah, yeah. You remember, you remember the end of Night Dragons when like, he, look, we thought he was going to jump off the bridge? That's what this guy's doing. Yep. I think he's going to, I mean, he starts crying. Right at I the mean, one point. Oh, he's, he says, oh, sorry, guys. And they're like, oh, it's okay. But yeah, no, that's the okay. problem. It's and and okay. so we're already, you know. A third of the way in, I'm mad at Asagi for passing. Though again, it, and when I do this, I played soccer, but my big thing was hockey. But going down in here, probably would have faked the goalie and passed to the guy on the wing myself. Uh, but when that guy missed, I, I would have been pissed. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the problem. And even with that, maybe how I would have taken it. And, and I, if we ever ended up continuing on with this, there's going to be. And you even said there's a guy that's just like me because seriously, I'll. I'll try to maim people, but (laughs) I would be so mad at myself for passing that. I would never blame Tada, Tada, but when we went off to the bench, and if I had any, if if I heard one person say, and the coaching, hey, that was great, you know, we gave it our all. I'm like, that is bull crap. That's not giving your all. You lost. You just wasted everything. The whole season done. So they, they, he ends up going and they miss. But then you end up there to even put, you know, salt in the wounds that the ends up. It clunks off the post. But then this Kira on the other team picks it up. This guy, he, he's all over the place. He is real good as well. For losing and, goes, fancy free. and now he, he just he gets a goal. It's over. That's I mean, like now even it's two worse. nothing. I mean, you know, yeah, it, it, if it just like hit off, if it was a rebound and that was that, but then like rebound into another goal again, and that's how the game ends. Yeah, exactly. Oh. I thought you'd get. Thump off the post, er, you yeah, know, game it. over. You know, no, pen, you know, no, worse. no injury time, nothing. It's over, and no, <laughs> he picks it up, goes down, and scores a goal. Yeah, done. Now it's over, and they lost. So everybody kind of gathers. This guy ends up, you know, they're picking him up. He's cheering. Everybody's going because they're going to go to nationals. Big thing. And Asagi and his team, they lost, but his coach ends up. You know, hey guys, you know, let's smile here. We, you'll realize later this don't mean crap. That's basically what he says. While you have this Kira guy, he is being, he's on television. I mean, conference. he's there. Oh my God. And he does seem like a really good guy. He he's knows what to sparkles. say. He's got, oh my God, every time he shows up, this guy's sparkling. I thought he was a vampire. So you end up then where you have Asagi who's upset He it, And he sits there and he says I thought we were the best team in Japan Which shows you he has you know Confidence in his team stuff like that I'm telling you <laughs> Look at a guy crying but is that he's the thing? Crying. Everybody's crying but like deep down Asagi's not crying he's the one that knows That like you know because the coach Is even saying oh yeah you know We try really hard but he Asagi's not happy he's like you He's like you in this situation. He knows that they could have gone. Yeah, I'd be like, this is the worst. You and, know? Yeah, and he's going there. Everybody's around, but he, he starts riding off on his bike, and uh, he starts getting more and more mad as he goes because, I, you know, you get this bit from him, which you get some of the character work. He wants to be this big, you know, soccer player, and he thinks that nobody really is, is paying attention. The only way that he could have is going off to nationals, where he even says that this Kira guy will end up scoring that goal. Like, look at him. He's lucky. He's going to be a pro. I'll never be able to go pro. Nobody ever recognizes me. Plus, we lost. We couldn't even get the nationals. This is the worst. 
I like these gossip boys who walk by <laughs> and they're like, well, look at that loser judging himself. You think he's dangerous? I'm like, he's on a bike that looks like it has a basket in the front. Eh, dangerous. <laughs> he's probably there like ringing the bell. <laughs> ring, ring. Ding, ding, hey, guys. But boy, he's mad. And oh, the yeah. big thing is that this this is where, and I said to you earlier, this reminds me of haiku kind of mixed with like an Ender's game. By this the is end. like haiku, like dark version. Because Hinata was like, he tried really hard, but he was always happy. You know, yeah, he happy. just wanted to play. He just wanted to play. This kid, he is angry. He is angry. But the thing that reminds me of it is because he ended up having, uh, you know, the, the uh, what was it, like the little giant. Yeah, that ended yeah, up being a right. haiku deal. There was that inspiration, and this is the inspiration for Asagi. He sees Noel Noah, who is Europe's not a real top person. Scoring player. Yeah, he's not a real person. You would <laughs> looked it up over and over. I but had it's to a, Google it. It's a French forward, and it's funny too because you get the idea where you have the, the people doing this, the creative team, where it, Thierry Henry is a French player as well. And then you even have later a French player that played for Manchester United. I'm like, do they have this French soccer fetish here? I mean, the what's French going connection. on? Yeah, I'm like, well, what is this? They must really like, I think even uh, Zidane is mentioned as well later. Uh, so there is that crazy deal. Like, why are you so into the French? Oh, my goodness. But you end up with that where this, you know, there. And I like the idea because maybe and you have read more ahead and whatnot. But maybe he'll be able to meet this guy eventually Ooh. maybe he'll find out some things because of the idea of that you don't want to necessarily have it be like hey cristiano ronaldo i ended up seeing that cristiano ronaldo will sue the pants off you if you end up so you have this but this was his big thing he saw this guy play he wanted to be a soccer player and he was good and and end up you see that he was way better than any of the kids you know around him and things like that but he kind of hit a brick wall here because he's not going to nationals, and that's where you get your recognition. That's where you would get seen. He doesn't think that he's gotten. The thing is, some people have paid attention and have watched him and, and see, but his stupid dream, again, is to win the World Cup for Japan. He says that. Again, that is the dream, you know, of the girl from before. This is what it's all leading to, so that makes sense. Uh, but with that, he's just thinking about, I probably won't go pro. This is it. It's going to be over. That You know, that Kira, that guy, he's sparkling. That, that guy's insane, right? And so he's thinking, talking to himself, getting mad. And he really does, like, just scream thinking. This is where, again, it took him a little to get to this. But this is, I should have taken the shot. Yeah. Would I have been able to win? And the funny thing is, he ends up doing this in his mind, right? Is it the Shot idea? Of the mind. Is it the idea here that first off, ugliest kid? I don't want to say <laughs> that this goalie's ugly. There's but a reason boy, why he's staying. I mean, net. So that's, that's true. I swear to God, this kid could scare the ball away. <laughs> he doesn't even need to even move. This kid is ugly. So <clears throat> and I just want to stress: this kid's ugly. But the, the play here almost feels like. You end up having, and I'm waiting for Asagi to pull it back for me to get angry at him. It's like, well, if I got this shot, that might be my dream, but who am I to ruin ugly goalie's dream? Because he does end up looking, this kid looks like, I, I, I swear to God, he's going to have a flaming skull in a minute and start just eating him. It, it, he is weird looking, and even that of the mind in the eye, I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> is he like burning it in the I eye? Know, that's what I'm saying. All I'm of a confused. sudden, he's got like, crazy hair i'm like what is <laughs> happening here it's, it's really scaring me but yes. he says that could have changed my destiny and it's true i i mean the, the idea and i even talked to logan about like the idea he plays basketball right now right so, and he he ends up he's insane he's maybe worse than me but he ends <laughs> up practicing and so he's already he goes he gets in the high school he's on the team and then everything gets shut down for covid again like right now, they're at a shutdown, which takes a year pretty much off of his, you know, attempts of whatever he wants to do. And it's just the luck of the draw and little things like that, like him passing, that could ruin his destiny. I mean, that could be where nobody recognizes him. He could be the greatest, but he never got to nationals. And a lot of those scouts and stuff would only go to nationals to see these people. And so, yeah, it's sometimes it's just, you know, the luck of the draw or luck even the, the draw. time frame of it. Uh, where some certain players end up around where it's the greatest time for them ever to be discovered, and then away they go. So you end up where 
he's just like, well, maybe I'm just nothing. You know, our teamwork loss, no helping that. But he's, again, he's making excuses and saying it's the team game. The team matters. You know, we all lost together and, oh, well, we gave it our all. But that's not what's going to come, and that's not what's going to be important. I think that what you see here in the beginning, which I really do like, is the idea that he's going with the the company line. Mm-hmm. You know, well, the he's idea not that, singing there. Too. No, and he is a little, but not a, not fully. You he's can see there's it. that spark that mm-hmm. you know we're not going with that. You know, Kira guy who ends up being a, given everything or whatever. This kid wants to be a pro. He wants to be the best, and I can see him. You know, leaving behind a little. That whole idea of teamwork, though, I haven't read ahead or anything. I would think that by the end, the teamwork comes back to win it all. But we have all this going on. And and again, when we started at the beginning, there was the mention that Japan is really good teamwork, really good passing. But that's it. The rest of their game is just left behind and and the world's dominating them. So so they go and a weird deal where you're going to end up having a really odd swerve coming up you're gonna end up having something that is not realistic with these parents it seems pretty realistic they that's don't why they're care there at all nope. and so what we're gonna have and we might as well let it out of the bag <laughs> what you're gonna have is this coach ego is basically gonna give you an invitation you go to this complex you ain't leaving Football he's like that's camp. it it starts now you're not gonna live at home you're not gonna go to school and so if it was different you'd be like oh my god like what's gonna happen the moment no 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 this mom and dad, I, I don't even get that. Easy going right? isn't the word. I mean, oh my this, God. this is really, if I'm going to get sad, this is almost what happened with, with me. <laughs> I'm telling you, if I would come home from hockey, baseball practice or whatever, and I would even think to, but I never would. But if I said, oh, man, you know, we won today. We lost today. There wouldn't even be a met like. What the hell are you talking about? What are you doing now? Because this family, they don't know anything about soccer. They don't care. It's not that they like you. It's not that they're, they're mistreating not him. They're no. not mean. It's just they don't know about the football. No, they don't know about the football, and they seem to uh, you know, be nice. I, I think that the, it's a clever play because the mom has made a nice dinner. So they're not, you know, starving him. They don't, you know, they're paying attention enough to have this, but... It's a dinner that you usually have the day before the match, he says, because he's, you know, who is he, Tom Brady? He ends up where pork cutlets, that's a deal before. I, I would love the mom to say, well, since you lost, you could have it any time now. I mean, it's not going <laughs> to ruin crap. You lost, buddy. But he, he, they even say, like, hey, how was the game? We lost, we lost, we lost, and I'm hungry. Never once, like, oh, man. How do you feel about that? Are you okay? I know that would upset Too bad. you. Whatever. Here's dinner. No, nope. she's like, I'm gonna the menu. We're having pork cutlets. He's like, that's supposed to be something before the match. And then the dad's like, really? That sounds weird, but they're good. <laughs> Chow down, buddy. And then says, I love the idea. This would be there's there's old Luke Hollywood. Oh. You come home, little Luke, and he's like, I, I think I'm gonna get into that manga, mom and dad. And What's your mom that? and dad, your mom and dad look at you, and not only just that, say. We have no interest in that, Luke, so eat up. Because they say that. Yeah, they say it like, we don't know anything about that. We really don't care. Please don't start filling my mind with your nonsense because I don't know about it. But There you go. I do laugh that it says soccer, though. No football. But yeah, you end up where, oh, by the way, a letter came for you. I don't know. It's from the. Japanese football union. Oh. I mean, this is huge. She doesn't even give it to him right away. Is what makes me laugh. More like, she's just like, ah, eh, here you go. It's for dinner. You yeah, know? really. Pork <laughs> cutlets, and you know, don't try to give your dad any information. This guy, he's not smart. No. One thing in, one thing leaves, and he'll forget how to walk or something. So they end up looking, and he's like, oh my god, and he starts looking at, it and he's like, huh? He's already eating, and and then it's like a summons. What does it say? And it says you've been selected for a special player training program. And special player training. I like this. <laughs> Is this a good thing, you know, honey? And the dad goes, beats me. Beats me. Like, you think that they would know what we said. Uh, that's the last time we see <laughs> Nothing. Them. Yeah, yeah. Is it? I mean, legitimately, are they just gone? Do we They're never gone. see them again? Benito. It's like witch watch. Go. They are. Yeah. They are out of the picture. They're out. Well, there you go. Sayonara, suckers. We, we know that. It'd be funny, too. It's like, really, please. About like volume 12 Just have Thinking them sitting about, we there We always supported you Saggy no, I want them to sit there and it'll be like a weird Science play from the movie if you ever saw it Where the mom will go Huh 
wonder what that Asagi's doing now at Jason's dad's going, who? who the hell is Asagi? And then they just go off from it. It'd be hilarious. But he's like, oh, my God, me. Like, what's going on? Now, this is like, this is his dream. He's been noticed. They they actually did end up noticing him. And he has no idea why he's been chosen, though. So, because again, he is a guy. And I think that's the play. The play here is we know that he wants to be the best. We know that he's kind of pissed off they lost, and he thought maybe he could do it, right? Mm -hmm. But he doesn't really have an ego, and that's really pushed here with that idea of, oh, man, I didn't think anybody even knew me. What's going on? I mean, I'm nothing. I'm nobody. Very modest. Yeah, and so he goes there, and you know, he has to show up at this tower. I love that his mom and dad don't even go to say goodbye to him. Do you think they, like, dropped him off? Or, like, well, where are you going? Where you are you going hope, so early? You would hope at this moment that they realize that he's never coming back. And yet they don't take him. He packed his toothbrush. It, he did. Plus, it's cold. Yep. You see him, and they just made him hoof it. <laughs> Holy moly, they're jerks. But there's no details about what it is. So he doesn't know what's going to happen, but I'm supposed to be here. Maybe this is a joke. And the best is, you get this idea here, too, and it makes me laugh so much. Ta Tada, the guy who missed the, the goal. He also seems to be, you know, a modern day Ashton Kutcher. Like he's the, the he punks people, oh. and so not only did he miss that shot, but he's a jerk. <laughs> like, like, just imagine if it, what if it was a prank. He's like, man, is that this is one dead. Oh my that god, is this one of his grand pranks? I found murdered. Yeah, how about at the very end, seventeen volumes? You have this, and at the end, all of it was a prank. It, it ends up where they, they're even at the World Cup. And Tada's like, yep, that was all a prank. And then, he's, uh, and then he wakes up. He's like, holy crap, I'm still eating pork cutlets. I was, pork cutlets. was all of the mind. Uh, but he goes in and he's like, okay, well, I'm happy somebody noticed me. Again, he's got that little victory there, but it's not going to be enough. That That's not, you, you can't just be happy that somebody noticed you. He's going to have to toughen up this kid because when we find out what's happening. But with that, uh, Sparkles comes in. Ooh. Now, I laugh too because I said, you know, it looks like one of them Twilight vampires. The spark does look like that vampire kid, though, in The Witch Watch. You it's know? throwing me off now. Kind of looks like him. Maybe he is a vampire, right? Yeah. So he ends up where this kid, you know, he recognizes him. He's like, hey, Asagi kun you know, you're here too. That's awesome. You're pretty good. And he's like, wait a second. I like, he's like, he's fanboying on this kid that's the same age. And he's even talking to him in a more respectful Lately. way, which throws Kira off. Like, you don't have to talk to me like that. We're, we're of the same age. Uh, but he's like, oh man, this guy recognizes me. That's awesome. I mean, um, how do you know me? You know, oh, well, we just played you. Yeah. You know that I'm going to the nationals. You're not sucker. But he ends up saying like, oh man, you know, while we were playing, I thought, man, if, if he was on my team, all the passes that he'd give me. Now, again, think of what that is saying. That's basically saying, hey, Asagi, if you were on my team, I'd be the striker. You'd pass to me. It's kind of an insult, but not because Asagi but he's doesn't saying take it, it as a that. smile on his face. And, and so I he's think that he nice doesn't guy. really mean it, but I think that he kind of knows that he, he's better. But it, it's subtle, but I thought that it's one of those. Nobody gets mad or anything and even says, hey, you know, you should – you, you calm down here. We're equals, and I think you're really good. And Asagi gets all excited, like, oh, my God, I didn't know that he ended up, you know, liking me, stuff like that, and thinking I'm good. But he is a little like, oh, my God, this other player who's my age is, is praising me. He really you know, likes praise, this kid. Oh, he does. He, well, here's the thing again. You want to go layers? His mom and dad aren't paying damn attention. There you go. And that's where, again, I'll tell you, you we want to get on the psychiatrist <laughs> this thing right now. I mean, all the things that I ended up doing a lot were, come on, guys, recognize that I'm doing something here, please, you know. And they never did. So, so <laughs> I ended up just a black hole of anger. Uh, but he's like, all right, let's go in. I don't know what's going on here. I, I like that he cares. Like, he called. He's like, hey, what the hell's going on with this invitation? Can't tell you. All right. And they're going to go there. And. Yeah, he's like, man, if he's praising me, he's nice, too. This is great. This guy's Maybe a great guy. Maybe everybody in this blue lock's going to be nice. Yeah, turn and the then page. You, you turn the page, holy moly. Slice. Look at these guys. I mean, these guys are ready to slice everyone. <laughs> and and you look at them, and I don't know. I'm looking here, and the guy who probably in this, of the guy I would have to maybe go after first, because if I go into this, this is like being in prison, and this I'm out. Trail, I'm in, yeah. 
be the toughest guy. I'm out in the yard for the first time, and I, I have to take down. It's that crazy guy on the left with the crazy look and the little goatee with the spiked hair. I'm taking that guy down right away. I the love crazy stuff. eyes. Looks like he might get you first, though. Uh, well, I'm going to go after him. Now, with that, yeah, the one guy with the long hair, he kind of looks at you sideways glance. I'm not even bothering with him. Either. But the guy with the uh, blonde hair right in the middle, uh, he looks like a pushover with that fancy jacket, so I'm not doing that. But <laughs> Skunk Boy, he might be a problem because he's smaller, and I think he's going to have the little big man <laughs> I'm telling you, you just go in here, you're like, all right, that guy has glasses. I'll, I'll crack those glasses right away. He won't be able to see me. Screw you. And Oh, yeah, it'd be great. But the whole deal is everybody's there. It's so crowded. And y- you end up seeing that again. Kira seems to be in the know. He recognizes a lot of people, so he's done some research, things like that. It looks like a saga. He doesn't really know a lot of these guys. He's more about, you know, his little team and whatnot. But it is a good way to point out that, oh, my God, that's, you know, Seno's Ace Akawa, and that's this guy. And I'm telling you, the guy that I go after is the tallest the high tallest schooler high in schooler. Japan. I'll get him. And they're like, man, he's huge. Well, so you're going through all of this, but the big thing is realizing then, they're all forwards. We're, we're here, and there's 300 people here, and they're all the same position. What what the hell is going on here? And that's when you end up having, you know, Ego, Coach Ego, steps forward with his Britney Spears mic, and he's going to have his presentation that almost looks like it's going to be that history of dance video that ended up going. I mean, if he started just dancing it up, yeah, it'd be funny. The way he almost starts busting moves here. Yeah, oh he does. Goodness. And so he says, hey, everybody. And and this is the thing, too. I actually thought that he's testing people immediately. Like, the idea is like, hey, everybody, you're three, 300 of the best strikers under 18 in Japan. Uh, my name is Jimpachi Ego. And in this, you see that he's a little younger than we kind of got the idea before. And I was hired to give Japan a World Cup victory. And there's the people like, what, what is he talking about? World Cup? I mean, Who's Japan. This? And I'm telling you, I'd have some people in the crowd listening. And if you said, man, Japan's never, you're out. But the the whole deal is to to kind of tell them, oh, yeah, really. And so he says, I'm going to say this plainly. Only one thing is necessary for Japanese soccer to become the best in the world. It's the birth of a revolutionary striker. With the 300 of you here, we're going to experiment. We're going to do some things. We are going to create one of you into that. You're going to be the biggest thing in the world. And you're going to bring the World Cup to us now. With all of that, you would think that everybody would be gung-ho for this and be like, oh, my God. But you see, they're they're just it's ingrained in their head, it seems, being players from Japan, that you end up the people that you admire, the people that you look up to on the the World Cup team and things like that. They're more the passants. They They take this as an insult. Yeah, it's about the team. And it's weird because this isn't like you got the whole teams there and like you end up uh, defenders like, yeah. We mean something, too. These are the strikers. These are the best forwards here. And yet they they kind of push back. But he says, and that's the best of it is, the whole time I'm reading this, what the hell is it called Blue Luck for? I don't get it. And I just thought it was just going to be some name of a team or something like that. But that is the facility football that they're prison. using. It is football prison, Pentagon, y- you know, Soviet Union <laughs> hockey team all rolled up in one. And. It's such a weird way to just throw it at these kids. Like, oh, by the way, you see this diagram of this crazy building that's surrounding the pitch? That's going to be your home, and you're never leaving it, and that's all you're going to do. Again, as a deal with me being such a a big fan of, say, a Blackpink, it also plays off the idea of idols going to and training as trainees for these corporations. So, I mean, that's what they do. They end up in an academy. Where they have to be there, they don't leave, practice all the time, do that, get a value. I want to read stuff. that. So it's very similar. Could be. I, I don't. I'm, I'm surprised there isn't more of that black oh. pink the manga. You end <laughs> up though. That's the blue lock is the facility. So everybody's looking. They they don't know what the hell's going on. They, they they're confused. And then he says, "This is the best." This guy basically says, "Oh, and by the way, from this moment on, you stay here. You ain't leaving." You're in prison. You're in Sunday prison. Door. Locked down. You are not going to go to school. You're never going to see your parents again. And that's all you're going to do. Eat, sleep, you know, do, breathe, soccer. That's it. You know, that's it. You're done. And he says, but we're going to go through also, by the way, too, we're going to evaluate you. This is, you know, Japan has strikers <laughs> if this was a thing. And one of you is going to win 
the rest of you are going to go through this for nothing, it seems. <laughs> Even though, like we said, and we were talking before, like, there's other forwards. I know it's the striker, but why wouldn't you get if this guy is so good? But it's just not, you know, only one striker of 300. What do you throw all these 300 players away? Then like, also like, guys on the bench. It's not like they pause football outside world. Like in, there's still football going on outside of this place. This is just where the game is hottest. And it is the hottest. And there they are. But I'm telling you, you could have a winger out of this mm-hmm. too, or you could have this. I mean, though, you kind of did tip your, your hat a little. You, you told me something earlier that it seems like. This might be going on oh. for other positions yeah, as well in like other countries. Yeah, maybe like lock. Yeah, yeah, really. And that's, you know, brown lock. Whoa. That's, that's what they have. So you end up where everybody's just confused. What the hell is this guy talking about? Now, with that, you see that, you know, Sagi, he's not going to say anything. He's kind of like, you know what I mean? He's not going to step up. He's there. He's thinking things. And like, this is crazy. Now, again. He ain't got no nationals to go to. What does he have on his itinerary? <laughs> he's got an open date book. But Kira, he says, wait a second. We can't go back to our school, whatnot. I, my team is going to nationals. We just, we just beat this loser's team, and we're going to nationals. I can't leave them behind. I, my team's my family. This is everything. But that's the opposite of what they want to hear. This isn't what Ego wants. Ego doesn't want it. But again, it's funny the idea that it almost feels like he's a plant because he's right there to say. But you got to give him credit; he steps up and starts complaining, mm-hmm. and, and that, 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 that kind of takes sparks, balls. Yeah, that sparks it out with the rest of them. Like then, they, everybody gets the guts to speak up. Yeah, and so you, you almost this is where again I thought the you know up oh, you pass the test. You did when he's like, I won't abandon my team to participate in this. We're going to national, so no. I thought the guy was going to say, like, that's the kind of guy we need. But nope. He's like, no, no, that's it. You, We're talking about World Cup. We're talking about the greatest victory in Japanese soccer history. And you're worried about your Nationals deal. Now, I think that the layer of this is in the saga, and, and was kind of thinking about it before, the idea that you want to get to that next level and get pro and go to the World Cup, all that stuff. This is the better way to do it anyway. You know, you're you're actually what does it matter from then on out about but you're showing that they have loyalty to their team and that the team is bigger than the players, all that, but this coach ego's like, Nope, and then says, You're all really sick, huh? Like, well, then piss off. I like when he says that. I'm like, Oh my god. And he tells them all, Leave. I won't stop you. You don't like it? Get the hell out of here. Go back to your school. With your little tiny nationals deal and whatever, we're here for our country to win the World Cup. We're not talking about your backwater soccer teams. And he's all into it. And I thought a bunch of people were going to leave. I actually thought they were going to. Nobody leaves it, thing, you know, it says. But says about it, and he starts getting. And he's like, I get depressed when I think about people like you <laughs> carrying the future of Japanese so soccer. He mad shit at these kids. And he is putting them on blast. Yeah, yeah. So, and then he says, he's like, listen, Japan soccer is teamwork capability is the best in the world. You can say it's a gift of our country's propensity for considering others. They're very considerate. They're very nice. You know, and again, they'll help out people and everybody should be, you know, equals and stuff like that. And again, even the idea where I would think because of the way the culture is in Japan, if you're there on a team and you're on a breakaway and the guy next to you that is uh, older, you might think you have to pass him because he is the older, you know, that whole deal going on. And he says, that's why we're second rate. We're, we stink. Everything else stinks and says, I'll let you know what is soccer. You guys are soccer players. You know what soccer is? Soccer is scoring goals. That's it. That's it. You don't have to think of it. You don't have to go. It doesn't matter. I don't give one crap about a defenseman today. It's goals. The person the with the most goals wins. That's it. That's it. It's very simple. And then goes through this idea of, I mean, really pushing, like, the, the striker scores the goals, so they are the most important thing. The rest of the team doesn't matter at all. And you would think that some of these guys have to be like, now they're singing my tune. Like, this is what I've been wanting to hear because I, I'm the best there is. Like, but they seem to all be taken aback because of this. He also tells them to piss off again and says, if you think, and really goes, and it's funny because you end up having a soggy there thinking, what's this deal? He's crazy. This ego, he's going 100%, you know, it's it's the whole 180, what his coach said at the end. 
when they lost to go to nationals. Hey, it's everybody. One Singing for all for tune. one. Hey, everybody. And now he's like, no, no, that's it. Whoever scores the most points is the best. If you want to play it getting along, piss off. And he says it again, which makes me laugh. Akira's pissed. He ends up and he's like, you know, players like Honda, Kagawa. These are, I guess, the Japanese, the you know, Japanese players, team. the big Japanese players and saying like they're they're great. They end up, you know, being my idols. This is what ended up. And it's the 11. It's the whole team. And we grew up watching our Japanese teams cooperate. There are heroes and you're wrong. But again, if I was sitting there, I would already be like, I like this coach because the idea that you're saying that they're your heroes, it went crap. And that's what he says. He's like, really? And I like, he's like, huh, Honda, Kagawa, you know what they don't have? A World Cup. They're trash. <laughs> <And> starts <laughs> yelling. And they're like, hey, you're talking that. we. I'm saying you guys could be the best in the world, not just this team that, again, goes with the beginning with the guy. And hey, we're making money and people like it. Why rock the boat? But he ends up and then the best is because, and again, it's forced a little, but with the soggy. Hey, take Noel Noah, uh, for example. You're like, oh, no. Here we go. And he says he beat out Messi, Ronaldo, and took the Ballon d'Or. He was the best striker in the world. Uh, and that's the deal. You know, why and what? And he said, instead of assisting my teammates to win by one nothing, it feels better to pull up a hat trick and lose 3-4. Not the greatest of, of examples here. And, and I don't like that because the idea, you still need to win. <laughs> the idea, if it's me and you say I'd rather lose 3-4, no, you should score five goals then. It's weird, the idea, well, but he's pushing this. He really likes hat tricks. Yeah. Then he says, Eric Cantona, the greatest soccer player of the 20th century. Who's taking this poll? All he, people he, he, football. he is not. He is not. He's He was great, but he was great for a little time. He was not. And even like a guy like a Ireland's own George Best George is one of, Best. My, one of my favorites. Uh, old school deal. But even stuff. I mean, what about Maradona or, say, a Pele? Uh, oh, way better, like no way is he they end up saying pay like the idea of saying he's the best in the 20th century but the best of all time no 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 that means pele is the best in the 20th. <laughs> this is nonsense but he's the, the best of idea. all time yeah the, it, but he's if you're the best of all time you're also but can't uh, there's no way i do like they they have like the old jersey design the, with the collar i, yeah, I, I like love that. the collar and uh the thing about him he he had a he had a massive ego, so they, they didn't pick that right. But still, George Best, I, I love George Best. But Best. you end up, and, and even then, that's even old people soccer for me. <laughs> but I, I end up, I really, I really do like them. But yeah, you end up, you know, I just want to stand out. I don't care about my team. Yeah, I, you know, that kind of was he was a jerk. But you end up with Pele again. Pele was the best, and they're showing that he said this as well. Basically, all the revolutionary soccer's. But I, look at this back bend. What is he, Gigi all of a sudden? <laughs> He's like looking over and leaning back. But he ends up saying that's what we need. We need an ego. We need an, hey, I'm ego. That's my name. But I need you guys. What Japanese soccer lacks is ego. We need somebody who's going to come out there and say, I'm the best. This is bull crap. And, you know, I'm I'm the star. And that's what he's going to try to do. So they're going to end up trying to make them good but also they have to have this ego they have to go with that and he says i want to create somebody like that and they think that that's what will win it now with that you end up where at this point you kind of get the gist of this right but it does keep going i still like it but it does keep going because then you this, end this is up, the one stage where it kind of drags a little yeah it does a little because you're gonna go and you know asagi's thinking of stuff and this big thing of lumps hey you're lumps of talent but I'm going to ask you one final question. Here it is. You know, imagine you're the last match of the World Cup, 80,000 spectators. You're on the field. The score is 0-0. Zero, zero. It comes down to the last play. You break there. You have the thing. Are you going to end up, you know, passing? Or are you going to end up scoring? You should Take shoot without shot. hesitation. And, again, that plays well with what happened. With It's forced again. But it, it's nice because this is what he was thinking, too. Maybe that would have changed my destiny, all this. But they... Japan needs somebody who's not going to pass at that point. They need to have somebody who's so egotistically insane with themselves that they have to take every shot. They have you have to have a Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, and that like he has never met a shot or a dive that he's never you know met that he didn't like. But that's what they need. 
And again, if, if you ended up even going new school, they definitely would have mentioned him as well. So the idea where, you know, he, he's an egotistical guy as well, but that's what they need. But that's what they're going to do. And he says, if you don't want to be here, you can get out of here. But soccer is a sport that exists for you strikers. Everybody else supporting actors. You end up having, you know, Asagi, he's like scared but excited oh, and yeah. all that. But you're the leading actor. Don't think that everybody else is equal. You are the best. So we're going to go rejoice in your own goals over all else and live for nothing but that moment. And he's really going. And. Yeah, he's like, and it's like, this guy's gripping my fate in his hands. And so he gets this opportunity. He wants to do this and he wants to go for it because then you get the craziest eye looking like spread page that looks really good. He starts like running to everybody's running towards the stage and getting all fired up. You see that the cure is like, he's kind of like, what's going on? And that's where this also, it starts to go with like a battle royale now. Like now we're getting Fight Club, everything going. Pretty cool though, as they go and they run through and basically say, Sayonara, sucker to their parents and their school and everything, and go off as they run by. I would have probably tried to maybe high five the coach as I went by, right? Mm-hmm. Get some brownie points early. Because that's the thing, there's, there's 300 of them. I mean, you want to, do you think maybe Asagi, because Asagi's the first one and he's kind of what launches everybody. He's like, oh, let's keep an eye on this kid. And that'd be funny. He's like, that's it. I'm a striker. He starts running, but there's nowhere to really run to. And he just ends up running into the wall. It's kind of and awkward. then the rest hit him and he gets crushed. He's Oops. dead. That's it. The end. 299 strikers left. No more 17 <laughs> volumes. Uh, <sighs> but yeah, I, the weird thing is, too, is when you see this, did they jump up on the stage? Because he was on a stage. Did he get a little step ladder going? It'd be like, funny. I, there's me running. Yeah, I'm straight. And then I got to stop. Ah, can somebody help me up? You just failed the test. I can't get up on the stage. But then they end up running. I, where are they running? Like, <laughs> where are they running to? Backstage? <laughs> He's like, oh, man, look, they got a cool spread here. They eat sandwiches Ooh. and stuff. They didn't realize that coming up later, BTS is playing. Oh, my God, there they are. Hey there, sugar, what up? And then they run into their deal. I don't know why, where they're <laughs> running to. I really don't. Uh, do you think he's just going to turn around and be like, oh, actually, the entrance is this way? Yeah, you, yeah. yeah. He's gonna, that's what he's like. And by the way, you don't have to be that smart to be a striker. <laughs> You've all demonstrated that. Go out that way. You know, go to your rooms. But Oops. we'll see how this goes. But you end up where uh, it says, you know, suddenly it'll appear the strikers. That was the best at the one point. Strikers appear where the game is the hottest. The hottest. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> and then in in the place. So you end up having this deal where, yeah, you have some, you know, looks at the kids and stuff. I you got some, the designs are cool. Yeah, I, I like them. I like the, you know, wacky twins. Creepy twins. I, the eyes, everybody looks wigged out of their mind. I oh, don't yeah. know what's going well, on. Well, I Jeez. mean, if, if you're not hepped up on, you know, amphetamines, you're not trying hard This enough. is where the game is hottest. That's, it's, it's hottest because they're sweating because they're all they're doing meth. <laughs> they're, they're, all, they're all high as a kite. <laughs> oh, my God. That's why he ran like that with his <laughs> eyes bulging. He didn't realize that as they went in, they gave him a cup of, like, juice. It just had, you know, uppers in it. Boom. They're all whacked out of their mind. They're Let's all running go. around and doing crazy stuff. And even that guy, like, where he has his tongue out, that's why when you have those rays and stuff, you have to give people the binkies. They're going to eat your go. tongue off. There you go. <laughs> and, and then the only one on here, look at the kid smiling. He's crazy. I see the guy. It has to be the guy under the where the game is hottest. <laughs> you said was like me. <laughs> the guy, that guy looks like he's going to kill somebody. <laughs> uh, the guy who's, like, there and he's, like, Fixing his glasses. Hey, he he didn't get the amphetamines. But yeah, no. every, they all run by him, and they're all screaming, and yelling. He's left there. I do like when the door closes. Then as you know, the deal. Now there are steps there, but you also it has the Japanese flag. But you end up all right. All three hundred. Nobody left. Nobody chickened out. They're all in. You get this girl there, and you know it's it's kind of a sad thing that earlier it was sus to point out. That she had big boobs, the guys, but that's all we see here. It's like the boob focus. Right, yeah, and she's like, oh, well, we're going to do this. It's all going to be according to plan. Uh, one of the great strikers will be born. That's what Blue Lock is. Uh, shall we start, Henri Chan? And he says, the place where the game is the hottest in the whole world. <laughs> like, and I he still, gets crazy still eyes. Still don't know what that means. <laughs> he must have just snorted a line. 
Whoa. Right? That's all this is. Uh, the activate crazy eyes, the hottest yeah, place in the world. There. Like, here we go. It's, it's, it's somebody turn up the heat because the strikers are here. They're fired up. They're sweating like there's nobody's business. <laughs> it's the hottest in the it's world. Very, very stinky. Uh, yeah. Prison. Oh, my God. When they when they run in out there. Yeah. And so there's so many things that's going to remind. It reminds me a little of Top Gun. Oh. It reminds me, like I said, it reminds me a lot of Haiku with the idea of I was inspired to do it, but it kind of, you know, it's the darker version of this you is know, like the bad deal. boy Haiku. Yeah, it is the bad boy, and they're all going to be going against each other. And again, that's what I think the play is here: the idea that Japanese players are big on teammates and big mm-hmm. on everybody's the same. You set three hundred against each other; it's, they're going to be cutthroat. When you end up at the end of this, they ain't caring anything. No. About the other people and whatnot. And they're kind of there on their own being pushed then. You're the greatest. You're the greatest. I, I would just hate to see when they hit the team then later how they're going to act towards everybody else because this is really just pushing them as the best thing of all time. So, yeah, it's good. I liked it. I, I actually like the idea of it's like a lot of different things all rolled up into one, but it's it's unique. And we get to see a character that we don't get a ton with Asagi, but he's a nice kid. You kind of root for him mm. to get to something where he, that's not going to help him. You can't be a nice kid now, and we'll see how that goes. At the end, it's almost like Kira, because Kira is acting like the normal protagonist would. You know, like he's like, oh, it's all about the team. You know, the way Isagi is, like, and the way Isagi acts later on, like, he's not, as, like, he's a nice guy at the start, but He's got a, you know, he's got hey, something. he has his dream. He's got his dream, and he's going to do whatever it takes, I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah, so we'll see, and yeah, people go forward and what with that. Uh, that's cool, you have read it, so, and you like it. You say it even gets better, but I did like the start a lot. I thought that for what the art is, there's a lot of just kids in an auditorium at one mm-hmm. point, but it's good. Because all of them have unique looks, you end mm-hmm. up having a lot of expressions. For a lot of talking, it's very dynamic. Yeah, and I, I check the page count once, and usually when I check the page count, it's the idea of, man, when is this thing going to end? Mm-hmm. I actually checked it because I knew I'd been reading for a while, and I thought, did I go to the second chapter? I, I really was concerned that because it was really going quick, but I knew I had read a bunch, and I looked, and I was at like page 72 or 73 of about an 80-page first chapter. So I'm like, oh, well, that's cool. You like, I didn't go over, but boy, I didn't know that I had actually, you know, read that much either. It was very, very. Yeah, you were invested. Yeah, yeah, and and again, you have a lot of people standing around talking, but I like the concept of it. It's something that you know I get a kick out of, like seeing competition and how crazy people get and things like that. So I'm all for that. Uh, but what would you give this? Uh, I would go pretty high on this. I really like it. I'm like, gonna too. We've done a lot of we've well, we've done plenty of sports already. We did haiku, the nine dragons, but this one feels fresh, you know, because I the other ones were always all oh, gotta work as a team. This one is like don't care about the team. You do it yourself, and, and you gotta have the ego. So this one feels fresh and exciting. <laughs> uh, it's the footballs, so I actually know what's happening here. So that was nice as well. Uh, I'm going to go 9 out of 10. I'm going 9 out of 10. Here's something else with this. We ended up, you know, here's the thing. We end up doing 9 Dragon, you know, mm-hmm. the 9 Dragon Balls. Uh, and I bring that up because you were confused. Because right away, baseball. you didn't know. You were asking me terms. We didn't know. You know, I know baseball. You just don't, right? No, no. You don't have to know soccer to read this. There you there's, go. There's barely any soccer. That's the and key. everybody knows you just you know you aim for the goal. You score you kick the goal. The goal. That's all you need to know. You're not sitting there talking about a trap or how no. you know funnel and you know you're not doing the v- nothing. You don't no strategy, nothing. And in fact, it dumbs it down to say the kid who ends up kicking the ball in the net. That's all you need to worry that's about, and that's best. what we're gonna do. So, yeah, I think that the so big that play is... So, that allows it to focus it all on the characters. And, and, and yeah. And so, still, though, you get the flavor of soccer because mm. they are playing it. Layers. You know, the striker. And they mention some famous, you know, all-timers and things like that. And I think that that's the key. We ended up having the nine Dragon Balls, and they got heavy into strategy. And remember, it was the... Hey, we got to get a team. Well, we need a, a home run hitting left fielder. And usually the first baseman's the guy who hits this. And we get it lost everybody because we weren't getting the characters. You were spending too much time not even explaining baseball, but just throwing it in there. 
This doesn't do that. And like you, we said before, I mean, this is pretty much one of the, if not, you know, the most po- popular game in all the world. So most people are going to know the basics. You're, you're going to know the base, and that's all they go with. That's all you have to know. You don't need to know soccer to like this. And I think that that's the cool play of it. And I like the, I like the character work. I thought there it was go. good. We get the idea of, at the end. You say anything, and it already has layers, especially with the soggy. And it's all of the mind, the things of him thinking. And things going against what he's saying a bit, but also pulling back. And I thought that was good. And then you have Kira who comes off as, man, this kid's a good kid, but is that what you need to do this? And yeah, I thought it was cool. Plus, nobody knows this isn't like you end up again. Remember, and I'll keep throwing shade at nine Dragon Balls, but you ended up having a lot of things like, oh, man, that school does this and we get to this championship and they do that. This is brand new to all these kids. This blue lock, is they fresh. don't know anything about it. So everything will be explained to them in a natural way for us to understand as well. And it is fresh. And it, you'll get some surprises and things like that, I'm sure. Especially, I mean, you get 300 kids competing for one thing and these guys are being told you're supposed to be the egotistical jerks. There's going to be some troubles. I don't know that everybody's leaving here. On their own volition. I think some are going to leave on, you know, stretchers, if not coffins. Yeah, that's what I say. It's murder school is what I'm going I'm with. And that's what it would be with me. Like that. I would. I'm dead. <laughs> but the minute that here's the thing. And I, I say this and I think some people be like, oh, come on now. You're oh, just geez. saying this to be no, like, no, he's he's not, he's I'm not telling saying, you, he's legit. when they were running to get on there, I'm tripping so funny. <laughs> And and it wouldn't be quite a trip. It oh. would be one of those where I would go and I'd kind of like hit them so Oops. that they would hit into somebody else. Dominoes. And then they'd then start fighting each other. Called I eliminating the competition. And the thing is, somebody would say, like, why would you do that? It's not a competition to get there. It is to me. And also, I'd want to hurt them. I'd want to break somebody's leg. This is where the game is hottest. It is the hottest. <laughs> Stupid stuff. I'm <laughs> telling you, the idea... I have to just have the one time, and we end up on our Patreon, end up having the Jimma's issues with his wife deal. Yes. And she keeps telling me, well, one time I just have to have her explain <laughs> some of the things that she has seen to the point where she stopped being able to bring the kids to watch me do anything. This is me older in rec leagues, like in high school and stuff like that. Holy moly. This is where the gym is hottest. Woo. And I think back and it's like, that's just, I loved it so much. I love <laughs> just being a jerk. And then at the end of, of any game, I think that, oh, we leave it on the field, right? I, I would get punched no, in the no. lineup after you're shaking hands and guys would just punch me. And you know what that means? That means I win because then they got so angry. I'd the be like, yeah. lasts forever. Yeah, oh, it'd be great. Oh, there are people who I, I know for a fact still hate my guts for something <laughs> that I don't even remember doing. <sighs> Holy moly. It, it's that so is fun. truly the dream. That's, what, that's the best about sports, though, because <laughs> if you do that sort of thing any other place, you're getting arrested. That's that's the outlet. You can there do all that go. crazy things and stuff. And competi- competition's the best. I mean, you know. I mean, we, we put out a, we're in competition with ourselves everybody. at that point. Everybody. And everybody. So with that, I, really <laughs> I like this, though. I really did. Uh, and I think that it's something that just because you may not like sports, I think that you could enjoy this. But if you do like sports and like competition, like I said, it really does feel like, oh, my God, this would be crazy. So, yeah, I, I like it. So with that, uh, a bang, as Fire. you said. Bang. Which Ooh. means nobody will end up downloading it. But Aww. it was a banger us reading and talking. About we it, liked so. it. Yeah, with that. And I, I, I hope that it sounds like we got a little more spunk here. Not oh. because it's the hottest game going right now. We actually uh, recorded earlier. So Early. No sick. sleeping. No sleeping. No sleep till Brooklyn. But we end up. That is it. Thanks, everybody. Uh, go over to our Twitter at Weird Manga. Follow us. We'll follow you back. Also, go to our Patreon, patreon.com slash weird science manga, where you can get this and all the other crazy manga Monday early access stuff and our picks of the week podcast which i hear oh. might include ayakashi triangle this week we'll see now with that if you're not on the early access you might not know what that means but that's big for us right now right here and we also have an email about it all as well this week on the regular show so a bunch of things coming up this week as well as our picks for the gem of the year big one do not Bing have bang. the sound but uh there you go. 
But hey, thanks, everything. There you with, go. With that, I mean, really. Good day, mate. Well, it's not good day, mate, Rose. We're leaving. So good that night, is it. Mate. Thank you. Good night, mate. Yes. The dingo ate your baby, did it? <laughs> Here we go. We're off before I offend anybody else. Thank you, Luke. Thanks, everybody. And we will talk to you next week.